Hi everyone, I'm Steve, and as you can see from the sign here, I'm in Delight, Arkansas, the hometown of Glen Campbell, where he was born and where he's laid to rest. And I'm searching for his uh, final resting place. I'm hoping to find his gravesite here this morning. Unfortunately, it's a very ugly, gray, overcast morning. On the other hand, I'm delighted that it's not pouring down rain, which it was on my way here. I stayed in uh, Texarkana last night, and I'm heading to, to uh, Memphis this morning, and so I wanted to take this detour. I think it's probably a 50 mile round trip detour. Now, how many of you are fans of Glen Campbell? Which favorite uh, Glenn Campbell song? Gosh, I loved all of his songs, but I think probably the song he used for his TV show, Try a Little Kindness. That's probably my favorite song, although I really do like his more, you know, his sadder, more moody songs. Um, uh, the Wichita Lineman, By the Time I Get to Phoenix, loved his really early songs. Thanks for joining me on another trip down memory lane. Well, here I am at 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday, heading to Little Rock, and I'm gonna stop off and see the gravesite of Glen Campbell, if I can find it, and if it's not pouring down rain. The weather has just been awful. Not at all like the spring and summer-like weather I was expecting. <laughs> well, here it is, I found a light, and it hasn't started raining again yet, so, so far, so good. Now, I just happened to notice that there's a cemetery right behind that barn. So now, I don't know if this is the cemetery where I'm headed, if this is Glen Campbell's final resting place or not. So as I go up the street here, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find the entrance. I don't think it is. I think he's in a family cemetery that's smaller, and I don't think I'm there yet. I think I still have to go down Billstown Road, and I don't think that's the street I'm on or the road I'm on. But I will soon find out. So here's the cemetery that I saw behind the barn. Not sure where the entrance is, though. So far, I haven't seen an entrance. It's a pretty cemetery. Wow, look at this little town. This is cute. Look at this cute house. I just passed the cemetery sign. Maybe the cemetery is part of the, uh, the church. So this is where Glenn Campbell was born and grew up. Now let's see if I can find Bill's Road. It's possible that I already passed it. Trail of Tears. Huh. Wow, look at these old old homes or old uh, old buildings. So these would have been here, I'm sure, when uh, he was living here and when he grew up here. Wow, these are cool. Pinkies. Oh, another little side street. Okay, Bill's Town is what I was looking for. And this must be Bill's Bill's Town Road, I think. So this looks like a uh, an automobile graveyard. Oh, this is really pretty. So I don't know what this is. Is it a possum or something? Sad. Well, just as I was getting ready to turn around to see if maybe I had driven by it, here it is on the left-hand side. As you can see, it's not gated, and it's pretty hard to miss as you're driving by. But it is quite a drive off of the main highway, which is highway number nine. But it was worth the drive. This is pretty interesting to see, and pretty unusual to say the least. So do any of you have family members buried in a private cemetery? In California, it's very rare in most places to have a private cemetery. And maybe it's a lot more common in other parts of the country. I'm really curious. I'd love to know if any of you have uh, family members buried. I know of anybody else buried in a private uh, cemetery. So 
so the sun keeps poking out through the clouds every now and then. Oh good, it looks like it's uh, coming out again for a minute. And it looks like I'm not the only one here today to visit Glen Campbell's grave. It looks like quite a few other fans have made the journey here as well and left various items at his gravesite, including this Arkansas flag. It's nice to see him buried here with lots of other family members. It looks like maybe his grandparents and parents, siblings, maybe uncles and aunts. And it looks like there's plenty of room here for many generations of Campbells to come. So I just met a really nice couple and they noticed that uh, this one had a guitar on the back. I had noticed that when I was looking at the front. So this is William Boo Campbell and Shirley Woodley. And he was also saying that uh, people back here in Arkansas, you know, most of the families are musical and they all play instruments and they all sing, you know, from the time they're born. So it's really common for families the entire families to be in the music business like the Campbells were. Now the sun came out just for about two minutes just while I was taking pictures of the couple and then as soon as I was done I wanted to get my own picture the sun went away <laughs> so Jimmy Campbell was in the U.S. Army. It's nice that there's a bench here. And this looks like a little pig on a motorcycle. Oh, a hog. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> I guess someone was into, let's see, Clifford Allen Martin. Oh, he was, he died young. 2015. Oh, it wasn't in a motorcycle accident. And look at this little pond right here. This is part of the property as well. I'm pretty sure this is the most remote cemetery I've ever visited. I'm just glad I was able to find it and share it with you. Coming into town the other direction, I noticed a cemetery and so I think it might be behind the church. I'm going to go take a look and see if I can uh, find the entrance and drive around at least. And then I will be heading back to, or heading on to Memphis, Tennessee. Gas unleaded, 257. That's about what I've been paying the last couple of days here in this area. And here's another church. quite a few churches and here's another church on this side and at the very end of the street was the church with the cemetery at least I believe it's behind the church doesn't this look like an old west town in a way well maybe I can't turn here I don't know it says delight cemetery okay this is the entrance And this one is gated, well, at least sections of it. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. Oh, look at that little creek. That's pretty cool. Well, let's just go around, see if there's maybe a, a circle. Now I'm going to be driving right into the sun, but if I point the camera to the side, maybe it'll be okay. It looks pretty old.
it's interesting that Glen Campbell chose to be buried out. Maybe that's their property where we were with the rest of their family instead of in a in the town cemetery. I wonder how common that is. I wonder if other people with property, if they just bury themselves, if they have their own cemeteries. Again, if anybody knows, please let me know. I'm so curious. So many things are different back here than they are in California. Not much room to park unless you just park in the grass, I guess. With all this space out here, you would think there'd be a little bit more of an area to park or a little bit wider street. Papa. Look at the mold. All the, I guess all the, the rain and the dampness back here and the humidity. Huh. Now is that a, another Arkansas flag, I guess? Yeah. It's funny that this graveyard is right behind the church and the first two headstones that you see are Parsons. This cemetery definitely has an inviting name. So the woman who checked me in said that uh, this is State Line and this side of the street is Texas and across the street is Arkansas. And this is the O'Connell Lodge. And this is the first time I've been upstairs. But my car is right here. And the stairs are right, right here. So it was actually pretty easy. Almost as convenient as being downstairs. And there's a Walmart right across the street. Starbucks, CVS, Pharmacy, Subway. I had no idea the Texarkana was so large. So I have the very first room here, which is nice. And I haven't unpacked yet. Got a table, king size bed, nice view. Now this is a Connell Lodge. It has a microwave, mini fridge, TV. Let's see. Typical bathroom. But it looks nice, looks clean. Hair dryer, not that I need that. Nice. The pictures online actually didn't look that great, so I was a little concerned, but it actually looks really nice. Much nicer than I was expecting. A minute ago, the rain was just pounding down, lightning. You might be able to hear a little bit of the thunder. It's actually calming down now. <laughs> the thunder claps were so loud that they set off my car alarm twice. I don't remember that ever happening before with my car alarm. You know, it looks like it's died down a little bit. It's just a, a normal rain. I don't know if the phone is picking up the sound of thunder, but it's really loud. Can you hear that? It sounds like an explosion. It's been going on for hours here in Texarkana. Thanks for subscribing. And until our next trip down memory lane, happy travels, everyone.